Hey guys, this is Alex Cordovard here and we're going to take a look at something pretty cool and quick in this video and that is how to make a wine glass using the spin tool. Now this could be used for anything that is circular or spherical or round such as a wine glass, a cup, a mug, or anything of that nature really. Now first thing we're going to do is delete the poor default cube. So with this selected, go ahead and hit X and delete. We don't need him sadly. Now shift A, add mesh, plane, and hitting tab to go into edit mode, let's select these three vertices by shift right clicking on them. X and let's go ahead and delete the vertices. Now we have one single vertex here and if we go and hit one on the numpad to go into front view, hitting G let's bring it up to over here. Now what the spin tool does is actually it will spin out the vertices in a spherical or round shape. So all we have to do basically is draw out the outline or the contour of the wine glass and the spin tool will do the rest. Pretty cool. If we go ahead and hit 5 on the numpad to go into orthographic view, let's go ahead and grab this little guy, bring him to about so. And now I'm going to turn off the 3D manipulator tool right here by selecting this and then we could hit E to extrude or just control left click and extrude that way. Now whichever one you prefer uh, I find that control left clicking definitely goes much faster but whichever you like best. Alright so let's bring it out to here now we're going to do the stem or the handle part of the wine glass so bringing it down and don't worry if it's not perfectly straight, we'll handle that in just a second. And then let's actually hit A to select everything and G and Z and bring it down because it's a little bit tall. I'm going to go ahead and select these three vertexes, vertices by shift right clicking and hitting X, delete those vertices. All right, now selecting this last one, I'm going to go ahead and make the base of the wine glass like so and then bring it in. Alright now let's go ahead and straighten this out hitting B to box select left click and drag hit S X and then 0 on the keyboard to, to flatten it or to um, to scale it to 0 and now I'm just gonna grab these and kind of position them via hand. This is going to be the top part of the wine glass. I want a nice uh, depth to it. Hitting B to box like this, I'm just going to hit G, Z, bring it down like so. Alright, cool. So you should have, and let's go ahead also and select these by hitting B and box select, S, Z, and zero to scale it on the z-axis, zero. Pretty cool, right? I mean, you could straighten things out really, really fast in this way. I'm also going to select this, hit G, X, and bring it in a little bit. I don't want the handle of my wine glass to look like a uh, flagpole or something. I want it to be thin. Now, you should have something that looks like this, or something f similar at least, hopefully. And now, let's go and spin. Hitting tab to go into edit mode, A to select everything, then 7 on the numpad to go into top view. Let's go ahead and hit spin. Now you can see it looks pretty terrible. Something to keep in mind for the spin tool is that it actually spins around your 3D cursor. If I left click over here and then hit spin, you can see that it's spinning around this as the center origin point. Now. Let's go ahead and go back to object mode by hitting tab and then hitting shift and C to reposition our cursor to the center. And what we want to do since it's going to be spinning around this cursor point is hitting tab to go into edit mode, making sure everything is selected or hitting A to select everything. And then G to grab, then holding down control to grab and snap it to the grid. Let's bring it right here onto the Z axis or onto the X axis, excuse me, and right next to the 3D cursor. All right, 
now hitting spin when you're in top view and keep in mind as well that it will spin it depending on which view you are in so if you're like that it's gonna spin it a little bit weirdly we want to make sure we're in top view by hitting 7 on the numpad and then hitting spin and you could see it looks pretty cool except we only have one fourth of it going down here to the angle let's put in 360 now we have our wine glass pretty cool within a couple of seconds awesome I'm gonna hit five to get out of orthographic view and go into perspective now this option right here is the steps so this is basically the number of loop cuts that we have in here you could add more or less I'm gonna keep it fairly low at 12 as I'm gonna add a subdivision surface modifier to this in just a second and now hitting tab to go into object mode we could see what we got cool well let's fill in this empty space right here hitting tab alt right click to select the loop hitting F to fill in that face and then same thing with the top alt right click F to fill in the face and we have a wine glass ladies and gentlemen now of course you can make adjustments here like this but let's go ahead and add a subdivision modifier to it because it's looking a bit blocky so going to your modifier tab here clicking add modifier subdivision surface and let's also go ahead and click on smooth unless you want a blocky wine glass that's fine by me I'm gonna bump it up to two and now let's go ahead and check to make sure because right here you can see that it has a weird artifact or something's happening because we have double vertices here and they're not actually merged together to handle that very very simple and quick and easy and you can see it's running along all of here that's why we have this strange line here because they're actually separated and not merged selecting everything with the A key hit W and remove doubles now you can see up here it said remove 39 vertices what this does is it removes any vertices that are one on top of the other because the fact of the matter is you don't need that as you can see now they are merged it is one vertex and we don't have that strange thing happening there so that is how you model a wine glass or anything of that nature with the spin tool very cool very fast and very easy of course last thing you could add some edge loops by hitting control R left clicking to sharpen up some of the edges and places on your wine glass you could do that on the top here as well control R left click to add an edge loop and left click to confirm it all right and there is our simple wine glass made fast and efficiently with blender and the spin tool so have fun with it make lots of cups make the goblet of life and the fountain of youth and whatever comes to mind hope this tutorial helped I'll see you in the next one all right and let me know what you guys need help with I'm here to help message me comment down below like this video subscribe and share and uh, follow us on Facebook all right, see you, my Blender Maniac friends. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Ciao. Also, super excited to announce that I'm going to be releasing a course for Blender. It's going to be going from A to Z in Blender. So if you don't know anything at all in Blender, all the way to the more advanced things. It's going to go over just the basics and the interface, uh, materials, lighting, and then into more advanced stuff such as animation, graph editor, modeling, texturing, and we're going to make a, some different projects. It's basically going to be when you walk out of there, you're going to know how to use Blender. It's going to be hours of content. There's tons of videos, lots of value. And uh, like I said, once you're done with that, you'll be able to create pretty much uh, any project that you want for yourself with animation or modeling or whatnot. And uh, you'll know quite a bit about Blender once you finish this course. So look out for it. It'll be out in the next couple of days or week. It's going to be super awesome. And uh, again, hours of content for your mind to learn how to use Blender. All right. So once again, that will be out shortly. Until then, love you guys. Have an amazing one. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you. All right, ciao. Au revoir.